Matty McGrath, who has nine minutes. Hey, look, I too want to thank everyone here tonight that has contributed to this debate and thank the, you and the other chairpersons. I want to thank Deputy Hilly Ray and my independent colleagues in the Rural Independent Group and indeed uh, the Minister's Ring staff for uh, the discussions last weekend to try and get an agreed solution. And the fact that you have accepted and thank the Chief Whip as well for accepting the motion. I think it's very important that we have a united front here tonight. I also want to acknowledge tonight Tom O'Callaghan and the IPU members and they thank my own sister and declare an interest that she is a postmistress as well in Tipper I wish her main staff member there who had a stroke recently, um, Helen, a uh, 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 speedy recovery. Look, much has been said here tonight, and uh, to all talk and no actions is no good, but certainly there's a lot of decent uh, contributions and honest contributions. I'm disappointed with Deputy Daly, should come in and make allegations, and I hope he'd clarify them or withdraw them before it were finished as to who he said was trying to coerce people on social welfare to, to get, be, be only paid in the post office. We never said that, and neither does any opposition. We only want choice and not to be forced to take it into banks. We never asked anybody to be coerced and be bullied into where they put it in. Look, money was, I mean, Minister Ring uh, addressed the, 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 the meeting, but the one thing I want to pick him out on is the Wanderley Wagon idea. Forget it. Wanderley Wagon. The wheels have fell off enough of wagons, Minister. We don't want the wheels falling off this one again because that's what will happen. We'll be going around with sat navs trying to look for it and trying to find it. I know your good colleague and Taoiseach had a Wanderley mobile clinic, which I have myself at one stage, but look, don't try and imitate that at this stage. We don't need that. We, want, we need to have. You mentioned, we mentioned, we mentioned, we mentioned that we had cu customer focus, you mentioned, and you have to have the care group. But the care group actually. Yes. It's, uh, and please respect yes. the I only ask him two questions. And will the government give a commitment that the government contracts will include a, a, a social as well as an economic um, element for contract procurement going forward? And that's vital. We saw what happened with the driving licenses set up. Set out, farmed out, the post office was made prohibited that they couldn't tender for it. Uh, recently, John Daly, director of the retail operations with Ant Post, told in a Rockless committee, November the 8th, 16, that the further, uh, that the uh, further of many of the countries future of many hundreds of 1,100 post offices is now unsustainable and that network is on the verge of collapse. We have Deputy Donnelly tonight talking about that one in Arco Town. It's not a rural issue, it's a rural urban issue. In here in the heart of Dublin, small post offices, I cannot say enough to thank the postmistress of postmasters, the Fadden Fish Truckers, Manon Fish, and everybody who has worked, even Deputy Daly himself delivering posts when he was at Buchal Oak, as he said, uh, and all the people who give that service. It's a vital service there since was hundreds of years, and I think it's has to be enhanced. And I'm here now with nearly nine years, or over nine years, and we talked about it and talked about it. A successive government, which I was included in, talked about it, and more closed than we kept open. And I put my hand up and admit that. But now it's bottom line. It's down to, the, down to the core issues. We have to protect these services. Many people have made excellent contributions tonight for the reasons. My colleague Dr. Hartley got elected and no doctor, no village. With no post office, certainly no village. And no post mistress, or postmaster, no service for anybody. They were a social pint. They were Farm fillers, they did everything for people. When people hadn't telephones, they were, they were a hay and a dialog phone and they made contacts for everybody else. They filled out the farms, they notified people of funerals, telegrams, you name it. The history is there, the heritage is there, the legacy is there. And we must protect it. Because we talk about rural Ireland as if it was something over there. It's here, we're in it, it's diminishing, it's disappearing. Gather stations have gone, factories have gone, creameries have gone. This is the last bastion, the last stand. And I welcome the people to the gallery here tonight and say we must promote them. There's models have been mentioned in New Zealand, but certainly there are models in Germany as well. And some figures that I want to read into the record if I could. The fact that Germany, we all believe, is a huge multinational company, very successful, and we think they're all down to Siemens, they're down to Allianz, they're down to Bayer and Mercedes, all these things. They're not. The actual fact, the report down here, uh, um, research reported that 3.6 million small and medium uh, entrepreneurs from ba are the backbone of Germany's uh, economy. Imagine that, like we have in Ireland, not scale, but same thing. These represent 99.9% of all, all, com, all companies. 87% have a turnover of less than 1 million. Less than 1% have a turnover of greater than 50 million. This is where we're coming in. And we can emulate what they do in Germany. And the community banks and support for community banks and where the profits will go back into the communities. And I compliment the wheel today and Rural Link for having that conference out there and the people who attended and some in the gallery tonight, like Seamus May as well. We need to look at that to revitalise rural areas and to allow them to have banking facilities in the post offices. As Deputy Michael Collins said, a front of office, front of office focus for government services. 
purposes. Instead of taking him away and banishing him to hell out of Connacht, support him, enhance him, and really take off the handcuffs off them and the blindfolds off the postmasters and allow them to do what they do so well and give them the, the tools of the trade. They're not begging. We're not beggars looking for charity. We want to be allowed to continue a thriving business where they give employment. We want them to be used as an official uh, po uh, tourist office because they're the unofficial one at the moment. Someone said they weren't allowed to take in passes from courier vans. They do that anyway. They provide all kinds of services. If the Paris police can't turn up for mass, who will they tell the postmasters? If somebody doesn't turn up for a pension, and I had uh, anecdotal evidence of three people in my own small area where they, were, they missed the, the payment or collection of their post office, alarm bells went off. Two of them were found alive, thankfully, thanks to the alertness of the postmistress or her staff, and one of them sadly was out this time of year preparing for the Christmas, picking he, uh, uh, materials to make holly reeds. He was dead, but uh, unfortunately, he was found, unfortunately he was found, but he wouldn't have been found for a week, only for the postmistress missed him. Things like that, it's the social fabric that we talk about here in debates after debate. It is the social fabric. They are the social fabric. They are the, play, the veins that run in rural Ireland. We just should enable them. The Kerry report, and we'll ask those questions too, is out since January 16. What aspects of that have we implemented? We get these eminent people to do reports. We put money into it. We do consultation process. And what, do they, what, what happens to it? They, get, they gather dust on a file. There's confusion now as to what ministers of what departments are rural development, and we need to have that sorted out. I and many of my rural uh, co independent colleagues took part in the programme for government and have negotiated many aspects that are in it, and our job now is to police it. And I really thank you for, for taking this motion tonight. It's the second motion that we have had in this stall, and both of them have been accepted by the government, and that's magnanimous, and it's new politics working, definitely. But we need to see action. We need to see delivery. And I'll be here week in, week out, as will my colleagues here on these benches, and other benches, uh, watching it and policing it on that, policing it. Tom Lauer, Gomez and Nuffy, I have the programme. We'll be line by line, but none more important than the issue for rural and urban Ireland. Training courses. Uh, you can provide internet hubs there. 30, we're 30 per cent behind the rural Ireland and broadband compared to towns. We want uh, outlets there that students can go in to fill their CEO. They can have the broadband in the post office, not by aircraft maybe, but some other solution, where we can't get in rural Ireland. We're being hindered, restricted, and we're being stifled and we have to change that. So we were, we were, the driving licence could be there. As I said, the whole lot of the, of the farm grants and farm applications transactions, there are numerous issues that could be there. Simple thinking and simple change, and I address myself now to the officials, not these two in particular, but simple, and the teacher promised it in the, in the programme for government with us, that official Ireland would have to change as well as the government, that they would be more engaging, more interested in allowing uh, activities transfer from department to department, and more just normalised behaviour, not imp empires or emporial departments, this is our area, that's your area, back off. We don't need that. We need a modern uh, post office that will deliver what it's capable of delivering. And we've come through the decades of, of, of service from the postmistress that moved on and, went, and upgraded and got uh, uh, IT-wise and did everything else they were asked to do, will do, are able to do and want to do and wish to do to support the people, to supply the services, as all we have to do in this chamber is allow them, for God's sake. We're, we're, we're prohibiting them as they were tying uh, their hands behind their back. And we'll and uh, to town of uh, last uh, 30 30 seconds. Or 36 seconds. Yeah. I have enough to thank the people that worked with me in the motion and my own uh, staff in the office as well. I want to again just appeal that not all this talk will go waste tonight and no vote tomorrow is going to be a great motion, that the government will implement what we've asked for, what IPU, what Tom O'Callaghan and what the other postmasters around the country have, and what is common sense after all, to allow this bastion of rural society, one of the last bastions of it, to continue to flourish, not stifling, to allow them to serve the public. They want to be servants. We're talked to all, I mentioned to by public servants, they are public servants. They get a pittance at the moment, not pay the salary, a pittance for every transaction. And the last words will, my focal score, I ask Cola. I ask the people out there, my own family, everybody else, use it or lose it. We have to support it as well. If the government played our part here, we'll ensure they will. We have to then have the postmistress and postmasters, they'll do it, and the sub officers as well. But then it's up to the people to use it. I know such thing, and Deputy Daly might be able to clarify his remarks if you could ask him, could he withdraw that? Nobody's trying to coerce anybody. You have to take it in the post office, their collection, their, their social welfare, they, can, they have the option, but not to be discouraging them from paying it in the post office. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to terminate whatever injury time we've had, you've used it up. So I, um, that, that bring the deputy... I was more clear. He was on the phone. I see him cashed. But he's ready to deliver now. What's the deliver? Ashlam. Well, leave it to me, my friend. Well, leave it to you now.
I forget to know you, can have, you can have a bilateral outside. I say in cash now, go ninety for an Tarishkin, the Chakti Atar and a heave Aberdeen's ta. It should the Tana Gunya Aberdeen's Neil. Shilam going cash richer, and my opinion the question is carried. Uh, the question is carried.